I am Sadia Zahidi. I head the Center for the New Economy and Society at the World Economic Forum. Countries that integrate more women into the economy tend to be more competitive, more dynamic, and they grow faster. And this is not surprising. Women make up one half of the talent available in any economy. It's no wonder that if we don't integrate them, countries are going to slow down, and if we do integrate them, countries' growth is going to speed up. An additional 50 million women have joined the workforce in the Middle East and across the Muslim world more broadly. This is a silent revolution that nobody is talking about. It's changing the structures of these countries' economies, but it's also fundamentally changing society. One thing has become very clear. Economics is going to trump culture. As women gain more economic power, they're starting to change the societies around them, and that includes conservative voices. Technological change is disrupting our workforces and it's changing how we do business. It's fundamentally changing the structures of our economies. This is a unique moment. We need to use this moment of transformation to ensure that everybody is included in the future. Technology actually gives us that option. We just need to take the proactive steps to make it happen. History tells us that diversity and inclusion have almost always had an incredibly positive impact on the societies and on the economies around them. This is a message that we need to remember every time something makes us uncomfortable. We need to remember the longer play. We need to remember that this is going to be a win-win for everyone. <laughs>